we're making chocolate molten lava cakes, but full of protein. Yeah, baby! So kind of healthy and I guess good after a workout. It is. It's actually not bad in the macros. And it's got 10 grams of protein. How nice. Yay! My name is Paul Tran. This is Paul Tran, Baker Man. I'm really excited that we have with us DC Fit Chick. Hello. Okay, so my name is Krista. I am the founder of DC Fit Chick, and I met Paul, and we talked about his baked goods, and I was like, I want to make something with you that is good, which I love sweets, but also a little bit healthy because I am always trying to get extra protein in my diet. So we are making. We're gonna try to make molten lava cakes that are healthier with protein packed with protein so we're each going to make just a chocolate molten cake each a protein molten lava cake protein chocolate we'll, i don't know we'll still figure out we're still working on the um acronym or whatever we can make for it but um so yeah. each one will have about 10 grams of protein in it that's awesome that is so great i love it <laughs> And the ingredients are really, really simple. So I'm gonna start off with two tablespoons of vegan butter. That's about 32 grams of vegan butter. If you remember from the butter episode, the vegan butter is a oil, basically, with some coloring. Then half an ounce of bittersweet chocolate that's been chopped, plus another half ounce that's been broken into two pieces so that you can use it per container. So for every container that you're using for every cake, you're gonna use 0.25, a quarter ounce of a chunk of chocolate. And I'm using a 60% cacao dark chocolate. And then one large egg, and then half a cup of granulated sugar or um, half a cup of Splenda sugar. If you're using stevia, use about a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, half a scoop or 12 grams of chocolate protein powder of your choice, and half a teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth of a cup or 12 grams of almond flour, on the stove over here, I have an oven with a double boiler set up. So I poured a little bit of water into a pot and then I put a double boiler. Just You can use another pot or this useful thing that I have. And then I'm just going to heat and boil the pot of water and, and then put in the butter and the chocolate shavings. And they say on that top pan? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So and you don't mix it with the water? No, okay. it just very evenly heats it all around mm -hmm. and nice. it should turn out well. Yes. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> we melted the chocolate and the butter together first and then we added the sugar and, or sugar substitute mm -hmm. rather. Yeah. And so it's all well combined and would you like to add the yes. vanilla? So now we're adding the vanilla and the egg. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> I get every drop of that. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. So this will create like just a really nice wet part of our batter. Okay, cool. So yeah. It's all in there and now I'm just gonna combine the dry piece and that's it. Yay. So when you have lava cakes, mm -hmm. you have a center that's liquidy, but there's two ways to do it, basically. Okay. There's one way where you can just basically underbake the cake, oh, uh -huh. and it leaves the center wet, oh, but the outside yeah. is cooked. Right, uh-huh. Or you could do like what we're going to do today, where we're going to add a center to the middle of the cake. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So it'll cook the outside of the cake, Yeah. but then it'll melt the center. So in this case, we have these wedges of chocolate, these big chunks of chocolate. Oh, and that's what you're going to put in the center? And sometimes you could do caramel, oh. you could put in fondant. So that's what they do with other like sweets I have in yeah. this little... Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Never knew that's how you did that. <laughs> I'm just a wealth of information. You are. You really are. <laughs> and so we put it in here now? Yeah. Okay. And then you drop the chocolate in the center. That's I'm getting nice. it. I'm getting it. 
I'm gonna be a baker soon myself. <laughs> Anyone can be. So I'm just gonna try to equally pour in the batter in both. Looks so good. <laughs> this is just a very quick and easy cake to make. Yeah. It's great for dates. Oh yeah. It's great for a time alone. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess great if you need your protein. Yeah. There you go. In this case. <laughs> it's perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna push it below. Oh, I see. So that. Yeah, so I'll bake just over it. There in the middle. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yes. All right. Let's do this. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god. Oh and my I did god. use a little bit of the butter to actually just grease over it also. Or In grease here, the right? inside. Okay. Yeah. Mm, That's it. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes good? Yes, it does. Fantastic. <laughs> like and subscribe if you want to see Paul come take my class at the last. <laughs> <laughs> Comment on this video <laughs> if you want to see. That'd be amazing. It would be so fun. We'll do all kinds of working out thingies. Yeah. Also. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Your guns are way better than mine. Oh, no, they're like, they're okay. <laughs> like, yeah, you came and stayed. <laughs> <see. laughs> so, I took this recipe from dailyburn.com, and in the recipe, they said they used a 1200 watt microwave, and microwave the cakes at a 50% power. So, that means they would have been heated at 600 watts. I have a 1000 watt microwave. And I figured that out by reading the inside of it. And so 600 watts out of a thousand watts means that I need to heat it at a power of 60%. You see, microwave for 45 seconds, then let it sit for two minutes in the microwave. The hot ceramic will keep baking the cakes. Okay, cool. When I normally make molten chocolate cakes, I usually preheat the oven at 425 and then like let that go, but yeah. this time it's gone a little crazy. So like <laughs> in the microwave, like it started expanding but it's still really liquidy and I'm wondering if I should just like pop it in the oven, oven. for a little bit. Yeah. Or if maybe just letting it sit, because the ramekins are hot. Right. If maybe just letting them sit for a little bit, then they'll calm yeah. down. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I know, I was like, like a little mushroom top or something, like exploding. I don't know. Is that inappropriate? <laughs> yeah. I'm good with it. <laughs> but we are definitely ready to eat these. I, I know, I'm waiting. Gonna let it sit for a second. Still liquidy? It is, but it's definitely kind of firm. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if I should just throw it in for, or just do it for another 10 seconds anyway. Let's try another 10 seconds. <laughs> Let's just try it. So we're going to try 10 seconds, cooking for 60% power, go. They're expanding, they're expanding. <laughs> what? I think that did it. Really? Yeah. So you're letting them bake for a little bit more in there because mm -hmm. it's hot. It's like the residual heat. I'm seeing like little holes like you would see in a cake. And so that's why I'm thinking like maybe it's yeah, it baked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna leave it alone for like two minutes and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so I have a little bit of powdered sugar here. I'm just gonna Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Fancy it up. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's dig in. All right. Oh man, I'm doing it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Yes. Ooh. Should we do it? Yours looks good. I... Gosh. All right, diving in, finding the center. Oh my gosh, that Look. looks amazing. Oh Look my at that. god. Amazing, do you oh. see it? Yes, that glisten. Beautiful. Yay. Yay. <laughs> got chocolate lava cake. Uh -huh. Oh, mm. it's so chocolatey. Mm. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Carbs at seven grams. 
and fat's at 11. That's not bad. Oh, yes, I'm not sure. Do I? <laughs> I was like, pardon. <laughs> we're real, we're real. Twinsies. Yeah, twinsies. Well, but I'm so happy with this. So, yeah. Is it worth it? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Okay. And it's so good. Yeah. So you could top it with some berries maybe, like if you wanted to, like yeah. some strawberries or oh like God. some raspberries. That'd be so good. I have chocolate all over my mouth. <laughs> you don't. And just, yeah, so you have a good romantic night in if you'd like. Aw, that's for, cute. For... Gun show. <laughs> <laughs> for, the... <laughs> for your gun shows. <laughs> yes. So you should find DC Fit Chick on her channel. Yes. You should just look for DC Fit Chick. Yep, that's all you have to put in. Yeah. And that should pop up. And follow us on our <laughs> socials and leave a comment what you want to see us do next or try out next. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, subscribe. I'm Paul Tran Bakerman, and I'm from everything except Twitter. I'm Paul Tran Bakerman. Twitter, I'm P Tran Bakerman. And you're DC Fitchick everywhere. Everywhere. Just come say hi. Hey. Okay. I bet they will. Okay, good. <laughs> This is so good. <laughs> this is actually so good. <laughs> Powder goes everywhere. I hope they can see that. <laughs> no, just that you said it. it's actually so good. <laughs> like it wouldn't be her. You didn't know. You never know with protein powder. <laughs> you never know. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, we're back. You want to tell them? Yeah. So we are now gonna go down, and she's gonna show me how to like use a roller properly and help me with like some of my lower back pain and stuff like that. Some fun stretches? Yeah, I'll be good. So now you had your dessert, but let's stretch it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll link the, to this directly. And so check her out on her video. Yeah, it'll be on my channel, the whole video. And uh, it'll be the good. Yeah, the whole <laughs> video. It's gonna be so long. <laughs> Like a martini glass or something. But it's a rumble roller. I like them rumbled. Shaken. Rumbled, not stirred. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay! That's so cute.